And my first trending story today is that of the Coastal Highway Project. That's a landmark um, six-year investment that was demolished in six hours. And quickly, let me say this. You know, the demolition of the landmark beach for the lagos Calabar Coastal Highway has stirred a lot of controversy online. And this story is just two-sided for me. One for the government and one for the owners of landmark uh, beach resorts. And I've read and listened to the argument from those against the uh, demolition. Truly, it brings economic hardship. I must stay real on this issue at hand because when it comes to the livelihood that have been lost and, of course, the tourism declines, you know, memories tied to this beach are erased, if you ask me, and the environmental concerns as well has been arise you know so some question that the the project you know is necessary given to nigerian uh, pressing needs for basic necessity i'm sure if i had a representative you know for the government on this platform today they would argue clearly with facts and evidences why the place should have been demolished since i don't have a state rep or members of the project involved in this term of construction or plan or allocation or governmental consideration whatever they call it i may not be doing justice or giving a balanced perspective but not bringing emotions to the conversation at hand one thing is clear lagos state makes money from the beach resorts and i want to believe that they pay their taxes even beyond that i believe that they legally acquired their documentation from the oniru family ends those questions that uh, that they brought to fall so what comes to fall now is the weight of benefits and the cost for both government and the landowners the back and forth you know some things shouldn't be certain that there has been certain considerable co compensation from the state government to the owners of landmark beach resorts and they should be ready to support a, a relocation with ease of doing business for them should the owners want to re-establish their businesses along the uh, you know the coastal line of lekki expressway when it's done you know i'm trying to just you know hold my thought on this but quickly let me come to you ma in one minute because we are pressed for time what's your submission on this story thus far well, then we have had <clears throat> different stories on that uh, demolition that is to take place. But let us look at the economic uh, gain of that uh, project when it comes to life. And uh, if absolutely the um, a landmark has uh, the CFO, let him press for compensation. Let him be so compensated. And let the business, as it's also providing a source of livelihood, for many Nigerians who are dependent of doing their businesses and uh, feeding their family through that, let them be so compensated. But since it's on the right of way and uh, the, um, the construction of the road network, we also open the coastal city to more uh, economic uh, gains. Let the work also you know, uh, be supported. But let it be a win-win situation for everybody on the either side. There should be no loss on uh, the other side. We should look at what is the, gen the, the general interest. The general interest should be the one that majority will make again. Somebody make a submission. There is also one person that owns a, 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 a peculiar um, beach uh, front like that. One Bolaji. So if anybody is coming to talk about, you know, um, uh, ethnicity, a Yoruba person is also affected in that. And he has, also, he has agreed that his business will just represent 0.01% of what the project will give to other Nigerians when it is completed. So don't let us uh, attribute it to ethnic uh, problems or to other issues. Let the government do the needful and let them make uh, on the on the two sides, let there be a mutual agreement into what will be the end of the whole uh, uh, submission. That is what I could say about it.